What is a woman? Is she a nurturer? A warrior in a male-dominated world? Or perhaps a sex symbol? Is she lesbian? A rock in the community? Being a woman, it's more about how you feel as a person. Mr. Esma Wendler. It's such a depression. Or woman trapped in a man's body, perhaps. Babe, no, I'm not a drag queen. <laughs> Says, well, you are a drag queen. If you haven't transitioned yet, then it's, you are not trans. No matter who she is, we celebrate women. With pride. If it's Women's Month and it's Women's Day, you are a trans woman, you are a woman, so be celebrated also. 26 and uncomfortable in her male body, so much so she chooses Yaya over her birth name, Siabonga Mavundla. A simple Google search, and there you have it. A woman who wears many hats, loud, proud, and flaunting it. I am living on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a publicist and a writer. I love fashion. <laughs> I love cooking. I'm a very nice person and I'm a Leo. From being a lover of life to strutting her stuff, nominated for a socialite award, pressures on for Yaya to dress to the nines. That's how you know if it's working or not. I, I come from a very rural area like where people are so judgmental, um, where being trans is like, mm, what's that, you know? I think being gay, okay, yeah, but being trans, oh my gosh, you know, you grew in front of us as a guy, but now you're in a dress, you know? So I think, yeah, that. Even though she only started cross-dressing permanently at the start of the year, Yaya says the writing has always been on the wall. I think in high school, it's actually when I actually realized that, you know what, I feel more comfortable in women's clothes. I feel more comfortable in makeup, you know. I want to have them boobs, you know. I want to do my hair and, you know, everything. But she says transitioning to female with costly hormone treatments and surgery come with a lot of baggage. It's such a challenge for one, uh, the, the society, to you actually in your mind you are thinking, oh my gosh, am I really ready? What if it goes wrong? You know, there are so many things, there are, there are hiccups and also the budget. Babe, it's really expensive. For Yaya, it's about shedding what she's never been comfortable with and confronting the million and one questions that confront her every day. There are things that you just don't want to do, you know. You have people touching your boobs, asking you if they are real. You have to explain yourself. It's frustrating. If you think per day, how many people do you explain to? You got it in a club, you meet someone. They're going to ask you a lot of questions about it and it's just so frustrating. So when you are done with everything, you have nothing to worry about. Mm. After leaving rural KwaZulu-Natal a couple of years ago, she's now committed to the LGBTI cause. Her latest projects involve exchanging ideas with these young minds and giving birth to a new brainchild, so close to home and dubbed Mzansi Pride. They're planning to host the biggest Pride festival in Africa, after Joburg Pride, a platform described as crossing class, gender, race, and even African borders. This is going to include trans people. Mm. We're going to have like workshops where we actually give more information about trans people. Because I, I feel like within the LGBTI people, people are like so ignorant about us uh, uh, trans women. They just think drag queen. Mm. Uh, they just actually also think she wants to be a woman. She wants to. She also says the stigma and prejudice around her sexuality has almost mostly kept her working with the LGBTI community. I'm lucky and I've had other people that I've approached, but you know, they would be like skeptical. Oh my gosh, a trans woman, 
like um doing my pub publicity a transman uh, managing me you know what are people gonna say they're not gonna take it serious you know there are people that have that mindset that if you um like it's either gay lesbian trans or you need to be a designer you need to be a mm -hmm. chef you need to so you are a journalist you are a publicist they are like shocked a photographer in in their mind no you need to be a designer mm -hmm. you need to to, to cook you need to do, be a hairstylist, a makeup artist, mm. certainly. But all this has certainly done little to deter her. In Yaya's world, it's still lights, camera and action. Um, you send me a message asking what you're going to wear. <laughs> asking me what you're going to wear. Just, just be comfortable, I think. Just be comfortable. She may not be able to afford the procedures that would make her into the woman of her dreams, but she's determined. One of the days I was thinking, you know what, I want to do this, like I am tired. There are things that comes with changing into this mm. and some of them are, are just not cool, you know. You just want to wake up in the morning, take a, a, a bath, get into a, a, your skirts or jeans and just leave, you know. Mm not having to do so much and it's frustrating and it comes to a point where you say you know what i actually want to transition full time you deserve to know more enca.com